For over 30 years, standing forgotten on the corner of 40 Princess Road and Upper Hill Street in Toxteff, walking distance from Liverpool City Centre and Major University, is a Grade 2 listed gem, the Welsh Presbyterian Church. Built by Welshmen, the Welsh Presbyterian Church was one time Liverpool's tallest building. It was a major focal point for the Scouse Welsh community, but sadly now lays redundant and rotten. Liverpool's link to Wales goes back centuries with thousands of Welsh people, especially from North Wales, coming over to Liverpool in search of jobs and education. In 1500s, Liverpool even had a Welsh mayor, David Af Griffith. By 1813, it was estimated 10% of people living in Liverpool, that's 8,000 people, were Welsh. This figure would rise tenfold to 80,000 by the end of the century. Welsh Scousers had powerful presence in the construction sector and made their money in this sector. By 1850, there were more than 20,000 Welsh builders working in Liverpool. The man leading the way for Welsh architecture in Liverpool was Richard Owens, who joined forces with the Welsh timber merchant David Roberts of D. Roberts, Son and Company. North Wales was also a rich source of building materials and these were shipped over especially from Anglesey. As the 19th century building boom continued, Liverpool came to be called the capital of North Wales. Welsh people settled in the areas close to the docks, especially Vauxhall, Anfield, Everton, Dingle and Wavertree. Many of these have roads named after Welsh towns, villages and rivers. Most famous of these are the Welsh streets in Toxteth area, which is made up of 16 streets, including the world-famous Madryn Street, specifically 9 Madryn Street, as it was here that Ringo Starr of the Beatles was born. But the most well-known piece of Welsh architecture in the city was about to be made. Welsh Presbyterian Church on Princess Road in Toxteth area in Liverpool 8. The Presbyterian Church of Wales is a branch of Protestant Christianity in Wales, which was born out of the preaching of Welshmen Howell Harris and Daniel Rowland in 18th century. It separated from the Church of England in 1811, and was formalised two years later in 1823 as the Welsh Calvinistic Methodist named after John Calvin, a prominent 16th century French theologian, pastor and reformer. In Liverpool, the Welsh congregation met at Bedford Street Chapel which was built late 18th century. From 1928, over 100 years after being formed, the denomination officially adopted the name Presbyterian Church in Wales. In January 1865, plans for a new church for the toxic grown Welsh community was unveiled at a public meeting attended by over 1,000 people at their Bedford Street Chapel. Reverend Henry Rees passionately appealed for money and by the end of the night, £5,000 had been promised, 1000 coming from David Roberts alone. Construction work began that same year in 1865 and would last next two years. Surprisingly, it wasn't Richard Owens or other Welsh architect who was chosen as an architect for the new chapel. Instead, they opted for the architectural firm W&G Wardsley, made up of two Liverpool-based Scottish Presbyterian brothers, William James Audsley and George Ashton Audsley, who were only in the 30s at the time and had their office in Upper Stanhope Street, just one street away from the church. However, the Scottish brothers employed Welsh workmen to build this Grade two listed church. Workers arrived by port from Cardiff and Swansea looking for work. Architect Richard Owen was involved in authorising payment for site work in the church. The new chapel was a yellow sandstone building with slate roof and built in an eye-catching high Victorian Gothic style with strong early French influence in detail to an ambitious T-shaped plan with an impressive northwest spire and connected to a neighbouring brick-built Sunday school block. It cost around £20,000 and was paid fully by the congregation and well wishes. 
It had a seating capacity of 600 worshippers, 300 on ground floor and 300 in the galleries. The spire height was 200 feet or 61 meters, which made it the highest building in Liverpool when it was complete in 1867. The chapel opened on 15 March 1868 for a non-conformist Welsh congregation. In the first Sunday service, a sermon was given by Reverend Lewis who had travelled from Swansea. All other services were conducted in Welsh. The Welsh Presbyterian Church was nicknamed locally as Welsh Cathedral or Toxtiff Cathedral because of its tall steeple, but it was not an actual cathedral and never has been. The church was a public statement of Welsh faith and identity in the booming time. By mid-19th century, most of Liverpool's richer folks had moved out from town centre and into the posh housing on the edges with the new public parks. In 1842, Prince's Park was the first public park of Liverpool and the following year Prince's Road was laid out. Almost 30 years later, in 1870, Prince's Avenue was created. By 1890s, tram lines were laid out from the city centre and terminated at Prince's Park Gate. These tram lines would remain here until early 1960s. In 1880, Liverpool was granted city status and around the same time, many spectacular buildings were built around this area including Ebo Centre, formerly the Adult, Deaf and Dumb Institute, designed by E. H. Banner in 1887, the Old Hebrew Congregation, which the Audley's brothers designed in 1874, six years after the Welsh Presbyterian Church, the Church of England's St. Margaret of Antioch, which was designed by G. E. Street in 1869, and the Greek Orthodox Church of St. Nicholas, designed by Henry Sumners in 1870. The Metropolitan Cathedral, and the Liverpool Anglican Cathedral and the Chinatown are also located a walking distance from the Welsh Presbyterian Church. Today, the Islamic Al Rahman Mosque, Liverpool's first purpose built mosque, is located only a few metres away from the church, along with various multicultural community centres such as the Bengali Community Centre, which is located next to the Welsh streets. Over the years, the Welsh Presbyterian Church has gone through decline. Church-going worshippers declined after the Second World War, and in 1982, over 110 years after it was built, the church was no longer used as a Welsh Presbyterian Church and sold to the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, a religious organisation with headquarters in Nigeria. They used it for 10 years. For the last 30 years, the church has been vacant, vandalised, set on fire and left to rot. Various projects were proposed but nothing has materialised. The latest is an £8 million project by KIND, an acronym which stands for Kids in Needs and Distress. They are a children's charity located in Back Canning Street, 10 minute walk from the church. KIND is founded by Stephen Ip, an Anglo-Chinese and younger brother of actor David Ip, who was awarded MBE by the Queen in 2002, followed by the Freedom of the City status by Liverpool in 2012 in recognition of his philanthropic work. What I personally find incredible, when Stephen founded KIND in 1975, he was only 20 years old. The charity is working in partnership with Merseyside Building Preservation Trust or MBPT, to transform the church and adjoining land into a state-of-the-art community hub with a particular emphasis on eco-friendly principles for underprivileged children in Merseyside. If everything goes to plan, the new centre is expected to be fully opened by 2023. Hopefully this time it won't be another false dawn for one of Liverpool's iconic buildings and the greatest symbol of the Welsh influence on the city of Liverpool.